start with an image, usually in color, and then I put it into iPhoto to make it black and white. I draw a grid over the image, and I draw the same exact grid over my paper. The grid is usually used when enlarging an image. It helps you know where each detail is supposed to go. But with a smaller image, it helps with those little fine details so you don't miss them. What I'm doing now is outlining the flower to make sure that I don't color it in with black. I use a very soft charcoal to do the background and then I use my fingers and shading tools to blend it to make it that dark, soft color. With these leaves in particular, they're a little lighter than the other leaves, so what I was doing is shading the background with my fingers and then using the excess charcoal that was on my fingertips to shade the leaves a little bit grayer so they're still able to see them. What I'm doing now is using harder charcoal and an eraser as well as my fingertips to outline and smear a little bit of the leaves so you can see what's going on. By using a fine charcoal and eraser you get to see more of the detail of the leaf like the little veins and any blemishes that the leaves may have. bits of fine detail, trying to get into those little spots between the leaves. And I'm also erasing the outline of those darker leaves because I've kind of lost them with the background. And by erasing them, I've kind of erased some of the paper so when the charcoal goes back on, it won't go on as dark. The stem was quite easy in this image. It's very well visible and with an eraser tool and a little bit of smearing of charcoal you can make it really stand out. Next was the petals. They were tricky because this image had such a high exposure. What I'm using is a charcoal pencil to outline the petals first because it's not as hard and it doesn't leave such a mark as charcoal does. And then I went back with an eraser and kind of smeared those marks and then went back with charcoal to outline the marks again, along with smearing charcoal using my fingers. A lot of different tools of this particular flower because of its uh, fine details. I used an eraser and then to brush away the eraser marks without smearing I used a toothbrush and then went back with my fingers and a charcoal and then the eraser again. And it's a repeat process until you get exactly the right shading that you're looking for. Finally, the last little bits of edits erasing, making sure all the smudges are correct, making sure everything's blended properly. Now that I'm finished, I have to spray my art with adhesive. This adhesive helps the charcoal not to smear or fade as it ages. I always put my art behind glass, so I have a mat specially cut for it, and then I put it in the frame. It's finished! Voila!